Hello guys, welcome to day 17 of HackerRank Saturdays of Code and today we are going to learn about more about exceptions. So the last video was also about exception handling and today we will show how do we throw a custom error. So today's objective is to throw a custom error and this is a task that we have to perform. We have to create a calculator class and then we have to create a function called as power its return type is integer and it will take two parameters which are both integers so we'll be given two integers as input the input will be taken care by the stop code so these are n and p and we have to calculate n raised to p and if either n or p is negative then we must throw an exception with the message that n and p should be negative so this is the input format um, the first line contains the integer t the number of test cases and these are n and p respectively and n and p are calculated so in the first example it's 3 and 5 so it gives 3 raised to 5 243 and so on and so forth uh, but as you can see in the last two examples n and p are either n is negative or either p is negative or both are negative so this statement is printed and this is a custom error uh, string that is printed so we have to do that so now that i've explained you the problem statement let's uh, solve this problem so let me just unlock the subcode and see what it has so uh, my calculator object has been created of class calculator integer t and p which will be inputted to us and first the number of test cases is inputted and while t minus minus is greater than zero so this loop is created so that it will run t times and then we scan uh, scanf is uh, mostly used in c, uh, c language and all the functions in c can be used in c plus plus as far as my knowledge goes so we input the nnp and then as we did in the last uh, challenge day 60 we use the try and catch blocks to for exception handling so an integer called answer is declared and which has the value of my calculator dot power so this is the object and it accesses the function power of the class calculator and this function is what we have to uh, make and then it outputs the answer and this is the uh, catch block will which will uh, handle the exception so this outputs e dot what so i'll explain you what this what means <laughs> well, okay so let me start with declaring a class called as calculator and i'll first write the visibility label so everything is happening happening in public and then i'll create integer x is equal to 1 so let's just so we are supposed to give an error if n and p are uh, n or p are, uh, uh, are negative right so if n is less than 0 or p is less than 0 we throw an exception so throw runtime error and in brackets we write whatever string uh, whatever uh, string that will be output when we throw runtime error so we have to output this string so i'll just copy that control c control v okay so that's it so this what this what function does is okay wait we have to first create a function called power so int power 
and it will have parameters n and p okay so this is the starting bracket and this is the ending bracket okay what's happening okay and uh, we terminate the class by a uh, semicolon So if n or p are negative, then this uh, error will be uh, the what function that is given here. So this what function accesses this string and it outputs that string. Okay, so c out e dot what it does is it will access this string when it throws a runtime error. Okay, so if, when that is out of the way, both n and p are positive, and then we must print test to p so how do we do that we'll just run a for loop so for int i is equal to 0 i is less than p so we have to calculate n rest to p right so we have to multiply n p times so we'll run this loop for p times i plus plus and x which we declared here is equal to x into n all right so suppose that uh, n is 3 and p is 5 this loop will run 5 times and first the value of x will be 1 is equal to 1 into 3 so the next time the value of x will be 3 and x is equal to 3 into n again which is 3 so 3 into 3 is 9 so this will run 5 times and it will give us the value of n rest to p and then the value of n rest to p is stored in x and we just have to return x and the output will be taken care of by the stop code itself so we don't see any red underline under any of the statements so that our uh, code is error free let's run the code and check if it works now so this is working let's submit the code and it has uh, successfully passed all the test cases and we have successfully completed this code so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you